Hello, my name is Jack Lee and I'm a research assistant at Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children and I'm here to talk to you about our research project. Water is a very basic fundamental of life. We drink it, we wash with it, and sometimes we use it for fun and games. But for some people, water isn't quite so straightforward. Here at GOSH, we often treat patients with chronic diseases, and one of those is called cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis, or CF for short, is a disease which can affect the whole body, but is most visible in the lungs, where it prevents patients from clearing mucus properly. This can lead to serious infections that are difficult to treat due to the way the disease works. One of the main treatments for CF is a lung transplant, but if the patient already has an infection, the transplant doesn't work well and the recovery can be highly impacted. One of the most serious infections is caused by bacteria that can live in both humans and in the environment, such as in soil or in water. These bacteria are called non-tuberculous mycobacteria, or NTM. This means bacteria related to tuberculosis, but that aren't actually tuberculosis. They can, however, be just as resilient, and so we really prefer to prevent infections if at all possible. One of the main ways CF patients can be infected is from the environment. We believe this is primarily through contact with water. At the moment, CF patients have to be really careful around water sources, which means they might not be able to play in or with water, or be more careful when showering or bathing. For our research project, we are looking at water sources in our hospital, including medical equipment used in surgery, as well as sources like sinks, showers and bathtubs. We will be testing the water for NTM, both using culture on plates, which can tell us if they are alive, and using a test called PCR, which will tell us if they were there, regardless of whether or not the bacteria have died. Then we're going to ask the public to send in water samples from their homes, or even from schools and other environments. We will then try and decide what the actual risk for cystic fibrosis patients is, and then advise guidelines for the future, which may allow young people with cystic fibrosis to play with water as other children do. We hope this research will also reduce the use of antibiotics, and in the future, reduce the rise of antibiotics resistance that we face. Thank you for listening.